George. Yes, Marcia, what's going on here? This is all that we have left until the beginning of the month. What are we going to do? We'll be all right. That's enough money. No, it's not. What? We spent all that money? We're leaving, living, living from paycheck to paycheck, George. This is not enough money. When do you get paid? Oh, two weeks from now. Great. Just great. I think we got enough. No, we don't, George. Look right here. This goes toward the children's cat basketball club. Cat basketball? Yes. This goes toward the car. Oh. Oh, oh. Well, we have enough left for two weeks. George, we got $20. We have no food. That's not going to make it. Look at the kids. Oh. What are we going to do? We cannot pay some bills. George, we did that already. We're behind. Oh. George? George, come back. Oh. Are you living from paycheck to paycheck? Well, I'll tell you how I got out of it. And you can figure it out. Maybe you can take some of my tips. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just telling you what I did. And I was living from paycheck to paycheck last year. Okay? Matter of fact, last September. And in October, I said, no more. I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to keep going. Not working for me. Okay? So, what I did is, I sat there. First, you have to think, what are you doing? Okay? Because, really, this is on you. It may be a house, a couple. You know, you have to sit down and think what's going on and maybe your spouse isn't on board and you have to think but somebody's got to think and get us get you out of this okay so what i did is i sat down and i got my bank statements and i divided my bank statements up and looked at things okay on a sheet of paper like this and I wrote down how much I spent on groceries because bank statements, they can tell you what's going on. Or if you're online, you can go to your online bank. If not, and you don't have a bank, that's not going to stop you. All you have to do is keep track even for one week and see where are you spending the most on, okay? So you can divide this up into a little of everything. Maybe it's... Um, the car, okay, maybe it's clothes, maybe it's subscriptions, you just divide everything up. What are you spending? And it's easy with the bank statements because you'll see it. It's going to take a while for a minute for it. You can do it for a week or whatever. But the bank statements usually are going to tell you for a month or a certain period of time what you're spending things on. So other things we can spend on, we got clothes, subscription, the car. And the car can include, even if you don't have a car, it could be transportation. Okay, maybe you get on the bus and whatever. Okay, so you got your subscriptions, car, um, uh, maybe the kids want things maybe it's video games entertainment 
Maybe you go, maybe you want to even put it out. Maybe you go to the movies a lot. Okay. And maybe another culprit is, could be takeout. Or maybe it's Amazon, Etsy. Where are you spending the most of your money at? Okay, and you're going to list these categories out. So mine happened to be um, takeout. And we were spending from $400 to $1,000 on takeout. And most of it came from COVID. You're in the house. You're spending money. You you know, okay, let's just get takeout. Blah, 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 blah. You know, grocery stores, you had to go order stuff. So it wasn't really at the grocery store. It was at takeout. Well, we'll just do takeout instead of go to the grocery store all the time. And so it was kind of back and forth. I would stop the takeout, and then we'd go to the groceries, and then you know, back and forth, the groceries would get higher and there was no accountability to it. Okay. You're at home and you got your subscriptions. My next highest one was the car because I had an older car that I had gotten, you know, my husband passed, I had his car and it was older. It was 20 something years old and you know, anything, it needs maintenance it needs whatever, one axle went out, then the back axle went out, then the transmission went out, and it was costing a fortune. So in, in less than two months, I saw that I had spent $2,900. Now, that's not counting all the rest of everything going on. So up by the time I finished with it, I spent $4,000 on this car, and then on top of it, it died completely. So that was 4000 lost that quick. Okay. So that was the next one. So this was number one at first. It was bad. And this was really number two because they were kind of in succession. You didn't see all of this type thing, but the stakeout really was taking us out. You know, I would say it was going up more than this. So I'm going to put a plus sign on there. Now, maybe you got something different. Our subscriptions, we had everything that you could subscribe for. for. You got Amazon Prime. Maybe you have them. You know, you got Hulu, Netflix. You know, anybody. Remember, they were they were harping on those subscriptions while we were in um, COVID. You know, Stars. Everybody had, had a subscription. HBO Max. Remember all those stuff? Some of you may still have them. Okay, all of them. And by the time you finish messing with them, they weren't cheap either. You know, uh, YouTube had one, which they recently went up. You know, some of them were $69, some were $70, and all that was the month. But that didn't really bug me. It was, to me, it was the takeout because I was annoyed with how much we were spending on takeout. Even the, But it really, the car was up there. So those were the two things that really were getting me. I wasn't buying on Amazon. The groceries were settled, you know. Video games, they were playing them or whatever, I, you know, normal stuff. You know, they didn't get video games all the time. And um, stuff, we didn't go to the movies. They ordered movies, but they didn't really look at movies. Clothes, we weren't into. So, But you may have a whole different scenario, okay? You may look at it and go, my biggest problem is I spent blah, blah, blah on these clothes last month. I spent too much on groceries. Maybe you spent a bunch of junk you know, that, that is spoiling, you know, some people buy stuff and then it spoils. Okay. So you have to kind of get a, what I want to say, a mindset and figure out where am I spending the most on? And when I found out where I was spending the most on, I niche it was gone. I did this and said the next month when I start my cash stuffing, the car was boom, and the takeout was boom. We didn't do takeout. The car was in the garage. I did not have a car, and um, we used Uber if we had to go someplace, you know, and for a minute, and um, 
try to get our life together to see what was going on. So we found out that was what was going on. I did go and purchase a new car, okay? Because when you're doing this too, think what do you need to keep working? Because I purchased the new car because my son wanted to work. I wanted to go out and do things and work and start working, you know, and supplement my income, which you can do too. And um, I was like, we need the car. We need a car. So went and purchased a new car. Yes, I'm into another debt. But when you're doing work outside, that's what you need to do. And, and as far as I'm concerned, those are called needs. Okay, I needed my car. Now, if you find something that's not a need, that's where your trouble's coming from, okay? After you figure out your bank st statement, figure out what you need. You need to eat, okay? So you need groceries, but you don't need to spend a whole lot on groceries. You get what you need to eat, get what the kids need to eat if you have kids you you know you do a menu plan whatever i did i changed menus around which we were already kind of down anyway so they were okay did the menus so that they would last longer have more food blah 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 which i had been trained to do all my life anyway i just kind of went well whatever we'll just eat whatever and had jumped back to takeout instead of cooking and um, so, you know, figure out what you need. Also use some coupons and online things. They're not just there to be there. Yes, they want you to come to their store, of course. But you can cut your grocery list. You know, do, use those coupons. The same thing that you may be getting a coup, not getting a coupon for. They got a coupon on there talking about, hey, look what we got, blah, blah, blah. You know, and if you are doing takeout, maybe you're single or whatever, you know, I, my takeout is back, but I use coupons. You know, I go, hey, we got a coupon for that. Let's go over here. Hey, we got a coupon for that. Let's do this, okay? And I just keep them. I keep them in my binder. So if the kids want to do coupons now after we got back into it, there's a, they look for the coupon before they go out. But when you first start trying to cut your budget and getting off a of paycheck to paycheck, what I did was we're not doing takeout. I'm nixing this, this car because it wasn't working anyway. It wasn't going to go anywhere. And I did have to go get a new car. You don't, if you can, if you have a car and it's running and it's okay, I would suggest holding on to it. This car was 20 years old. Okay. When it was born in whatever, 2002. <laughs> okay. So, that we've held on to that car. We weren't thinking about getting another car. If that car had ran a hundred more years, it would have still been here. I probably would have never bought another car. I just sat there. I'm not a car fanatic because my family was in car dealing too. And it was like, it's a car. It's just metal. I can't take it with me. It's a car. And I drove it. He drove it. You know, we were fine, you know. And so after he passed, I drove it and I kept it. And so... You know, if you need a car for your gigs and the work, that's what you need. That is a need. That's a necessity, okay? So you need gas and maintenance. So you need to add all that up. What do I need to keep that car on the road? Okay, whether it's a new car you just purchased or an old car you just purchased. I heard a lot of people slamming uh, one of the um, cash stuffers who's having trouble with her finances about her car. Why don't you sell your car? Okay. Why do we have to, I want to say, step down sometimes when the car is there and you need it to go to work and it's a good running car. Okay. Maybe they did just purchase it, but maybe they can keep going. They add everything up got everything together and you're able to keep your car without selling it to make your life kind of okay. And really you're not going to get what you wanted for it. That car depreciates the minute it goes off the lot. The minute you get it off the lot, it just went down anyway. So you're not going to get all you wanted to get for it usually. So 
don't worry about other people's cars, okay? If they got it and they're able to handle it, okay. And if you're able to handle your car and the price it may be, all right. You know, I'm able to handle my car. I, I made a decision. You know, my car payment may be up there, but I'm going to keep my car. Okay, so I made that decision when I made this list. My car is going to be in the fold. And my car right now is $612 a month around there. Okay, now there's some cars there now that people are getting, they're way over the limit. I mean, mine looks good now. But at the time, you know, people were telling me, well, you need to sell the car. I don't need to sell the car because I'm going to make some concessions over here that I don't need, okay? I don't need my subscriptions. So you need to go away. And I nixed them. The only thing I kept was Spectrum to run the computers because we were working home online, They're all three of us. We had three different companies working online. The kids were, had their things going. I had my things going. They were thinking of ways to make money on the inside of the house. So we needed Spectrum. We needed the telephones, the cell phones, okay? We need, I, I don't have a landline. I, we work with our cell phones. We needed Spectrum, and we knew we needed Verizon, okay? So that's what we kept. I knew that I could nix Amazon because we hadn't got into the business totally aspect right now. So they kind of, I, I canceled them for a minute and you just wait, okay? <laughs> you just wait a minute, hold on, okay? I wasn't really an Etsy person. I just got a binder and something else. A friend of mine on YouTube who has a channel, he gave me two binders and um, I just started. So I wasn't really the Etsy person. I got a little bit and then the kids got me something for Christmas and I was kind of done for a minute. Okay, but I know some of you, you overspend on Etsy. You can't help but overspend. Everything is beautiful, gorgeous. We got some fantastic creators on there and just lovely stuff. You know, things are on there and they're calling your name. And some of you could easily, that money you were thinking of not spending, you know you got this. And Amazon can get you too. Oh, oh they got that and that. They're not sending you emails for no, no reason or pictures. You know, have you noticed if you go to Amazon and you go to some other site, it pops up and so does Etsy. If you've been at Etsy before, you're a subscriber or member, they pop up in your feed or on your advertisement. I was like, hi, we're here. We're still here. Oh, did you forget? Okay, that's what they do. Okay, maybe you're a movie person. You know, I got a friend, they go to the movie twice a week. Okay, movies are expensive. I know the last time I went to a movie, we spent like $60 and the tickets were cheap. It was everything else you're getting. So movie, I'm thinking you're going twice a week and then you're complaining you have no money. Okay, so that didn't bother me, but what you need to do, okay, you need groceries, figure out your needs. Your needs may be different from mine. My needs were, we need groceries, we need car, we need Spectrum and Verizon, and the heck with everything else right now, okay? We got clothes. I don't need clothes. I have clothes that I don't use, <laughs> Okay, I got purses that I don't use. I wasn't really into selling every, anything. My my son does that. He does that selling stuff. And so he started, he did his little business. Started selling, mom, can you take me over here? You know, I said, go take it to the police station so we can have somebody there. You know, <laughs> you know if you're selling something, you know. And we got into these different little things. They did their little thing. My daughter started contacting people. She's the artist. I'll do this for you. I'll design your web page. I'll do this. And my son got into selling out there and blah, blah, blah. And a job saw him out there and said, do you want to work with us? And that's how he got his job. Okay. Just by out there fooling around, <laughs> you know. And then they said, we're going to train you so that by the time you get out of school, you'll be a manager. And that's how he got his job, doing that. And so... You know, think of 
what you, the get out of the paycheck thing, make you a little chart. That's all you got to do. Step one, make a chart. Chart. Just tell you something. I'm going to make a chart some kind of way, and I'm going to, of the bank statement, and spending. That's all you got to do. You're going to make a chart and find out your most spending habits. That's that thing. That's going to tell you your most spending habits. And some people get embarrassed from it. I get kind of embarrassed. I'm thinking, boy, what is the bank thinking of me looking at that <laughs> chart? I mean, I mean, I had like five pages of bank statements on one month. Five pages. Okay. But I wasn't feeling bad because my girlfriend had 10. So anyway... <laughs> So I was like, okay, I feel good now, but but still, you know, those little tight lines and it's going, oh yeah, you were at, <laughs> you were at here, you were at there, you know, and check your habits and then you're going to find out where are you spending the most at and is the thing you're sp spending it at a need. If it's a need and you need it, you can justify it. I need my car. I need, maybe you do need some clothes. I need a few clothes, a few, a few, hear me say few, a few clothes, five days a week, okay? Maybe something to change out of, and you don't have to spend a whole lot on it. I need need some clothes that may be emergency clothes, and then you're done, okay? Or I need, I need my car. I need food, but mostly most people need, you need food, Okay? You need transportation if you're working out of the house. you Maybe you need your internet if you're working with the internet. Most YouTube people are working with their internet, so they need their internet. Maybe they do need a little entertainment, so maybe you do need to set aside how much entertainment can I get away with and be happy till I get out of this paycheck to paycheck. And then what you need to do is start saving. I don't care where you're saving. I saw somebody, somebody said they're knocking the savings challenges. Some people like them, some don't. Okay, when I started, I was trying to figure out what the heck is the savings challenge. And why are you playing games and I'm broke? Why would I play a game and I'm broke? Okay, why do I want to color and I'm broke? I still don't want to color. But why do, what, what for? Can't you just you know, save it and stick it in the binder. But the problem is it's boring. <laughs> okay. You're playing, you're, you're playing mind games and saying, all it is is saying, look, I'm playing this game and it's going in this binder or in wherever it's going to go. If you're doing prop money, it's going in here, the bank, and I'm not touching it till I get to where I want to put it at. You know, my big thing that I'm saving for or the bill I'm going to pay off. That's all it is. It's just to hold it till you're ready to put it in its place. And I'm fine with it after I figured it out, you know. And the, and the problem on here, nobody really says anything about stuff. So you're kind of watching until you figure it out. But that's what you do with the savings challenge. So the savings challenge is just for a bigger goal. And in my savings challenges, I figure that they can move where they want to. Okay. My savings challenges are, look, I don't have to keep it for, like if I say I'm going to save for the house and maybe my house money, maybe I need to save for a car. Maybe my car breaks down. That money can move, okay? I know some people on here have these rules. Like, you can't, I don't know where the rules came from, but, you know, oh, you have to put it over here. When you say you're saving it, put it over here. I'm a little more flexible, and I'm going to stay flexible because we got to all think. That's your money. You put it where you want to. You don't have to follow everybody. Even if you're trying to get monetized and trying to please everybody. Okay. 
That's you. I'm not trying to please everybody. I'm trying to please me. I'm trying to get out of debt. I'm not worried about the monetizing of anybody. Okay, if you want to get monetized, okay. If I don't want to, okay, whatever. If that, if that person doesn't want to, fine. Just go. <laughs> do what you have to do to get you out of debt. That's all you got to do. And not worry about people. I told you, do not compare your thing to uh, with other people. That's why I said, you don't have to follow what I follow. This is what I did. I looked at the bank statement. I broke it up. I spent more on groceries. No, on takeout and my car. And I nixed it. I bought another car, which you may not do. You may not have to do. You may have bought a uh, you know, said, I'll start riding with somebody. I'll do ride sharing. I'll do something else, you know, but I didn't have that option. I had to have a car because of the kids or an okay, whole different scenario. Okay. And then I looked at my needs. Your needs may be totally different. Maybe you don't need a lot of food. Okay. I got two hungry children in here, a little more food and one's a boy. They're going to eat more. Okay. Transportation. We, I, that's what I needed, the internet. I needed it in order to supplement my income because I decided that I was going to do side hustles. Plural. Side hustles, not side hustle. Okay? So, you think what you need and leave the other out for a minute. And then, after it gets done, then you can start adding back. Just save as you go. And then, slowly... At, I said slowly because this month I have Spectrum and Verizon, and I love to look at TV too, okay? So I'm thinking of adding back Netflix or YouTube, not both, because now I'm able to handle it. I'm able to handle this, and, I, and I've learned to add things back slowly. Because when you add a whole bunch and you get all excited, like, oh, I got the money, I got the money, all of a sudden your income drops because you're paying all this stuff, and, you, and two, something may happen, okay? What you guys call emergencies and I call, it means di dipping out of my savings, okay? So something may happen. You know, we can't stop the world or whatever. So I'm just like, I'll add that one back, and I think I can, I'm fine. Okay? I've already, Amazon, I added back, and it, but see, now I paid it off for a year. I won't see Amazon until next year. So I don't have that monthly bill coming at me. I'm able to do it. So that showed, okay, I can add one more and then I'm kind of done for this summer. I'm not adding anything else. So I'll decide which one's going to come back according to the TV. Okay. But that's it. I'm not having this monthly bill. And plus whatever I have back, I'm paying the whole bill. I don't want to see you every month. I don't want to be bothered. I'm just going to go on. So you do the same thing if you like. And, you know, quit living for paycheck to paycheck. Just slowly do something. But really, look at that bank statement or, or chart out what you're spending on and see are you able to kind of cut a little bit and save whatever else is extra, okay? And I know low income is very hard. But, you know, kind of look at, people don't like to look back at their stuff. They really don't. They won't tell you. They don't want to check okay, and see where it's extra. And also, you know, if you're having trouble with the companies, call them up. They cannot read your mind. If you're having trouble with a credit card company, call them up. That's what I did. And I said, I can't pay you this. I'm behind. What do you suggest that I do? You know, if it's a big number that you can't pay, tell them, I can't do that. Most of them the I call the big big people with the credit cards, you know, Chase, Capital One, you know, they got they they will turn around and put you on a plan. Some of the others you can kind of tell they're I call them the scam credit cards. <laughs> they 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 go, no, pay this six hundred dollars. I can't pay six hundred dollars, okay? 
and just six hundred dollars and then we'll work with you no 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 okay if you don't have it okay if you got it go ahead but i, I noticed i call them the scammers because they try to get the biggest bunch of money out of you right then and the other cards that are not doing this like chase and capital and i can't think of the other one uh first Premier, they will work with you they'll go Let's put this on a payment plan, okay? And then you can keep your card. Everything's fine. They don't. They they don't want to knock you. They don't want to lose a customer, okay? Especially now, they've changed the policy of things going on. But the other ones are still back in the dark ages, and they want you know, okay, if you owe nine hundred dollars, pay us six hundred dollars, and then we'll work with you. No, okay. So just tell them I can't do it. Okay, if you can't work with me, that one you cannot do. But, um, and if you were, um, also make sure that you get, um, the in, little insurance things that they have on their cards. You know, some people are kind of like, no, I don't want to pay any more than that. Yeah, but they do work. You know, I've been in a hospital and they paid, two companies have paid off my bill because they went, oh, you were in the hospital. And I said, yeah, because I forgot to even check the check them. And they went this year and went, you don't know us. The insurance is paying both cards off. So I was done. So, you know, get that little box. If you can get that credit insurance, I don't know if you can get it now after you signed up with the card. But if you do have a new card, make sure you have it because it does work. And they do pay off. Some of them pay a percentage off. Make sure you read it. They won't pay the whole card off, but some of them will have it so they can delay the payments or whatever they need to do. So don't be afraid to talk to those people. It's okay. You got to talk to somebody because they don't know. They don't know anything about you unless you call them. All they see is a number. Oh, you're behind. That's all they know. They don't know that you're having problems or, you know, you lost your job or whatever. Immediately call them. If you lose your job, immediately call everybody and say, I've lost my job. Can you help me with these payments? I don't have anything coming in or tell them how much you are coming in or whatever, and they will work with you. Like I said, the scammer cards, I call them, no, and I'm not going to mention them. If I didn't mention, I'll mention the big ones that do things for you, but the other ones, no, they're not going to do anything, okay? But try to send it to the debt collector or try to get enough out of you to do something with, okay? So I want you to have a good day. Be blessed. You don't have to take my advice. I was just telling you about my life and what I do. And I hope that you're great and your greatness follows you and it flows on everybody else so it bounces back to you. And don't worry about what's going on with everybody else. Always worry about yourself, okay? You are blessed, but you're not impressed about everybody else and what they're doing unless they really impress you. Okay, love you, and I'll be putting things in the names of people. I got some more June people. June must have been packed. I don't know what was going on, but I'll put them on there, and you'll see the list if you like to join them. And also subscribe, like and subscribe me and anybody else because they need help. Some of them want to be monetized, and they need that money, and some of them need that money. Okay, that's an extra stream of income, and we can help. So it's time to help somebody instead of sitting back, smiling like, oh, that's cute. They're at two subscribers and keep rolling, okay? If you got time to turn on a playlist, turn it on. If you don't want to listen to it, just turn it on, okay? Just for a minute or something. Give them the views. Give them the time, okay? And some of them got good advice, even the ones that have two subscribers. I found some information that's just wonderful. You know, I'm like, oh, I can do that. That's great. You know, they've been there. They know what to do. Everybody's been in different situations and they got different things going on. And you can always keep on learning till the day you cross over into that other light. So see ya. Love you. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.